Right. Just wanted to pause that so I can come back. I like giving short clips so I can put them on YouTube. Now that I can do um, Instagram Live and Live Facebook, and I got, and this way I can record and I'll always have it. You know. So now, um, confirmation and many things. Reason me and the, some brothers was talking today, and me and brother and my and a, a sister of mine who I'm planning on going to see when I get to Mississippi. Old friend of mine, love of the death, ain't seen her in a long time. Glad to meet her husband for the first time. We finally had a chance to talk. They're waiting to see us, so we'll see y'all when we get there. But um, as we were talking, uh, my sister said, my sister and the brother, he said, they said, uh, uh, you only know what you know. You, you, don't, you don't know what you don't know. I said, that's right. If you don't know... And all you know is what you know, and you don't look into what someone is sharing you, you could be missing out on something. Something you could be missing out on that's for you. And the fact that you would not check it out, that's your fault. Like I say, you when you point the finger, you got three pointing back. If you think you know everything and someone's trying to share information with you, and you ain't got time to listen, check it out, research, you're missing out. Because this is the story I wanted to share with you. Two worlds. I'm in America, right? Now, I'm in Detroit. This is my home. This is where I, I, I live. Born and raised. My sister invited me to go to Germany, to Europe, right? I'm not going to give you the whole in details of the story. But my sister invited me to come to Europe. Come to Europe, right? Got my passport. Got everything together. Me and my oldest girl, my, my daughter's mother, was always at, at, And I began to see the reason why we was at that because of what I've come to learn today and my, and my walk to where I am. Sometime when you sit back and meditate and get time to sit back to yourself and look over your life, you can kind of see things was planned out for you, but it all depends on the steps you took in the plan that was laid out for you. Somebody always caught me. I know that's it. Okay. There we go. Now, so as I was just saying, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I see the steps. But what, what was end up happening, and I'm not going to go through the details of what happened with me and my relationship, but the point is that I was off and on with my relationship with my children's mother. And, you know, that quote-unquote get out and call the police and all that kind of stuff, you know, which we was going through in, in our lifetime as men with most of our women. Right. So now I'm about to go to Europe. She never knew it because she the situation going out, playing games. I never had a chance. I got my I went and got my passport, got everything together, went to the house that night. She wouldn't let me in. I tried to come to see my children, say bye and let them know what's going on. She wouldn't let me in. May have company at the house. I don't know. I never suspected it, but that might have been what was going on. Nevertheless, I went to stay with my cousin that night. My cousin. Uh, my cousin Joe went and stayed with him that night. He dropped me off at the airport the next day. Next day, I took the plane on to Europe. Got to Europe uh, so many hours later. Get there, and I end up making the call back back to Detroit. Hey, how y'all doing? Why you coming from this number? Um, I'm not there no more. You're not here? I'm in Europe. What? You know, now they shocked. I'm in a different world now. The reason I'm telling you this story is because what I'm about to share with you when it comes to my, my son's mother. My son's mother. My oldest son, my two oldest sons. Their mother, right? So, now I'm in Europe. I'm there, you know, I keep in contact. Try to see what's going on with my children. Hey, how y'all doing? Sending them stuff and everything. Working on the army barracks. Working at this place called, uh, working for AFES at uh, Cambrai Fritz Concern. If y'all out there know, my boy Emery Smith, me and him, that was my boy. Uh, we, we hung a lot of stuff. Emery, I love you, bro. I know you're out there somewhere. I hope you see this video. But, um, 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 worked at Cambrai Fritz Concern, right? And I was at, uh, working at, uh, I think it was called Anthony's Pizza over there, right? So, now, I end up meeting Karen, which is my second my two boys, uh, uh, mother met her. She's 17, right? 
She's 17. I'm 26. I'm telling you this for a reason. All you people here in America, and for you that's a part of this world, I'm 26, she's 17. To so me, and I end up calling home, talking to my, um, talking to my, uh, uh, um, my, um, my, my girl's mother, right? I call home. I, oh, I say, oh, uh, yeah, I'd have met someone. Call, talking to her and her sister. Matter of fact, it was my baby, my, my uh, children's mother and her sister, her oldest sister. So I'm talking to him on the phone. And I said, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm with somebody or whatever. I don't know how the conversation got started like that. And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So asking asked questions whatever. She's German. I said, yeah, she's German, right? And then uh, they said, how old? I said, uh, she's 17. What? What? She said, you won't get, you going to jail. You going to jail. You, what they call it? Um, what they say, what they, what they call it over here when you go with a girl, someone under 18, they call it, um, statutory rape, statutory, whatever. I said, I'm not in America. I'm in Germany. I'm in Europe. The laws ain't the same here as they are there. Now I'm letting y'all know this for a reason. Y'all may feel the same way, all y'all that stay here in America, that felt that feel the same way when I said that. I said, I'm not in America. I'm in Europe. I could feel the... You could feel it, right? Uh-oh. What's wrong with y'all? Okay. Trying to reconnect. I got one finished. One saying it's finished. Trying to reconnect. Come on, come on back so I can finish up the story. Come on, reconnect, Facebook. See, I got, um, oh, man, I got one that's actually uh, stalling on me for a moment. But let me go ahead on in the story, and I'll just catch back up with Facebook's stop, uh, uh, what you call it, buffering. So, um, so like I was saying, um, when, um, when they were shocked, the fact that I said that I'm not in America, I'm in Europe. When I said that, like I said, they was like, okay, you're back. Hey, Facebook, you're back. Glad to see you. Uh, like I said, when I told them that uh, I'm in Europe, they were shocked, you know. So, but what could they do? What could they, they had to understand that's a different world. That's a whole nother place. And matter of fact, let me see. When I was over in Europe, when I would meet some of the quote unquote, they say Americans, when I see, see some brothers and sisters over there, they'd be like, I'm ready to go back to the world. I'm ready to go back to the world. Look at that. They even saying themselves, I'm ready to go back to the other world. America, United States. Some would say the States. The reason why they say that is because they're used to Going to the going to the store at two o'clock in the morning. A lot of stuff that they didn't do there that they allowed to do over here. Two different worlds. And the reason I'm sharing this work, this this, this um this information with you, and the way I'm sharing it with you is because you got to get out of your own mind. Travel, go somewhere, go across seas, go to Canada, go to another state. Get out your neighborhood. Get out your house. Go somewhere and find some find something to do. And the reason I'm saying this, and the only reason I'm saying this, I'm sharing this for a reason. The reason I'm saying this is because indexing is a total different world than the corporate world. The corporate world is the satanic world that's holding you down, that actually have you in chattel slavery by your birth certificate, social security card, and your ID card. This is what's holding you as you are sold into slavery. No different than on the auction block, but you're getting sold on slavery as soon as you come out your mother's womb. And y'all don't know it. The fact that y'all getting sold into slavery means that they own you and they're taking your birthright through your Q-SIPs in your birth certificate and social security card by you being sold to them. They're using your riches all over the world, but you're getting pennies. What Dr. Henderson has done, he has taken the corporate system to court, won, 198 nations jumped on a class action lawsuit, 
And think about it. You think this system wants you to know the real thing? And all these people... And, thank you, Almighty. Because I know I've been needing to say this. It's coming. It just hit me. Uh, all these people... And, and the system is, I'm saying people because they're part of the system. And if you're not going according to the creator's laws, ways, actions, whatever the creator set out and set apart, if you're not in that will, you're against his will. And if you're against the creator's will, you are of Satan. No different than Peter was when Peter was going against, we'll say the Messiah, or I like to say Yahshua, I'll say that, or Jesus, because the story coincides but it all depends on what that what that part was about i'm not into that part that deep no more i used to be but not that deep no more because of what i know but what i'm sharing with y'all is this the fact that when it when you at the, when you at this point when you're at this point you're being deceived when you can't get past when people are telling you don't go here you in your mind, you might be set, but in your mind, they, they, well, otherwise they're telling you don't go here. They put in information. I remember Trump used to always say fake news, fake information. He used to always say that because that information is being controlled. If you don't realize and know who is being controlled by, you are, uh, what should I say? You've been fooled. You have been deceived. Satan has deceived the whole world. And everybody that's a part of that deception is a part of Satan's army, whether you know it or not. You're a part of Satan's army and you don't even realize it. But it's up to you to do your due diligence to study, research, and find out what you need to know. So, when the time comes, you got all the things you need. Let me go ahead and stop.